Here we are given two situations and we'd like to determine if in each situation we have a function. So let's look at the first one. Is the number of children a person has a function of their income? So in each situation it's important to understand what the input is and what the output is. So is the number of children a person has a function of their income? So income would be the input and number of children that they have in their family would be the output. So if I put that here, I'm going to say money that they make and here's going to be the number of children that they have. I'm going to draw a very small person here. Then let's say that this family makes $40,000 or in this case it's a person but it could be a family too so let's say that their earnings are forty thousand dollars and they have three children does that mean if another person or family makes forty thousand dollars that they wouldn't have maybe two kids or perhaps zero children and so the important concept here is that income cannot be used as a predictor for number of children. So this situation does not represent a function because we can come up with a whole lot of examples for income and different numbers of children for the same income. So let's look at this second one down here. We have, is your weekly pay a function of the number of hours that you work each week. So once again, we need to know input and output. So number of hours that you work each week, that's going to be the input. And your weekly pay, that's going to be the output. So once again, I'm going to generate a representative sample of what could be some data points for this relationship. So the input is hours and the output in this case is pay. And so we are making an assumption with this situation and that is that our weekly pay rate does not change. So if we, let's say our rate is, um, let's say we make um, X dollars per hour, okay? X dollars per hour. Then if we worked 20 hours in a week, to compute our weekly pay, in its simplest consideration, we would take 20 times how much money we make per hour. If we worked 30 hours that week, we would take 30 times x. And if I took 35 hours, then 35 times x. So no matter what my input, my output is going to be unique depending on that input. So if I work 20 hours, I'm not going to get a certain amount that week or a different amount that week. I'm just going to get a single amount. So this is indeed a functional relationship because we can use our inputs, which are number of hours that we work, as a predictor for our outputs, which is our weekly pay.